While using command line interfaces, commands are the main thing. Every hacker should know basic as well as advanced commands to work on terminal. We have learned many basic commands just by reading blogs or watching tutorials on YouTube. But besides, the basic commands, there are some advanced commands in Linux that make your work easier and make you a pro in hacking. Today I am going to demonstrate to you some advanced Kali Linux commands that will surely enhance your hacking skills. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Number one is who am I? This command tells us about the user which is currently logged in. You can see it is showing me root when I run this on my terminal because I am using the root terminal. Number two is locate. This is used to find files in your system by their names. It works as a search engine for your system. Number three is pwd. This command shows us the directory in which we are working right now. Number four is the sudo exclamation mark exclamation mark. This command is used to run previously typed commands, but with the root privileges. Sometimes we type a long command and forgot to add sudo. In such cases, this could be useful. Number five is which. This command is used to find the path of a command that is executable in the current shell. For example, which Python 3 will give the full path to this executable. Number six is date. Date command is used to check current time and date. Number seven is history. This command is used to get a record of previously applied commands in our terminal. Number seven is touch. Touch is used to create empty files. For example, create an empty text file with touch using this command. Number eight is CP. This command is used to copy files and folders from one place to another. Type CP file name and the path where you want to paste that file. What if you want to know about processes running on your CPU? For that, we have our number nine command, top. Top is used to view processes running on the CPU and refresh them automatically. Number 10 is uptime. It is used to find out how long the system is active. Run uptime on the terminal and view how long your system is running. Next, we have free command. This command is used to check memory usage of your current system. Next is rm. RM command is used to delete or remove files or folders. Just type RM along with the file name to delete it. Number 13 is CAL. CAL command is used to display calendar in the terminal. Next we have CAT command. This command is used to view the content of a file. Just type CAT. And the file name to view the content of that file. After that we DF. DF command displays the amount of disk space available on your system. Diff is also a very useful command. It tells us the difference between two files. Dig is a powerful command in Kali Linux. Dig is used for DNS lookup. Just type dig and website link to get all possible information about the domain of the website. Uname command displays us detailed information about machine name, kernels and operating system. DPKG command is used to install deb files in Linux. You can also use this command to remove deb files. On number 20, we have du command. Du command is used to display the amount of space used by files and directories. Next on we have add user. Add user command is used to add a new user. You can create multiple users by using add user command. Next we have scp. Scp command is used to transfer file from one computer to another using ssh. Ethical hackers use this command to transfer files to the target system when they successfully compromise a system. Next we have unzip command. This command is used to extract zip files in Linux. Next we have lsb release. This command is used to check out version of Kali Linux along with other useful information. Next we have password command. This is used to change the password for the current user. Just type password and run it. Next we have if config command. This command is used to check network details like IP address and other. Next we have eject command. This is used to eject any removable media from your Linux system. Next we have echo. Echo command is used to display text on the screen. Just type echo and the text you want to display. Next we have clear command. This command is used to clear all the stuff on your terminal and make your terminal neat and clean. Last but not least, we have xdg open. This command is used to open files, folder, or even URL graphically. Just type xdg open and the file name to open it. Here ends our today topic. 
There are also many more command, but we will discuss them in a new video. For now, make sure to like and subscribe.